Pagilio for NJ Sports Now on this Friday, February the 27th, as we roll along through the early portion of spring training for all the local teams. So many storylines coming out around the Mets. So many storylines, obviously, this week with the New York Yankees and Alex Rodriguez and the paparazzi really following him around down in Tampa. And you look at all the question marks around the Yankees, all the question marks around the Mets, and what these teams need to do to break through and to do everything in their power to become playoff-type teams in 2015. But for me, there are two overarching names that are above everything and the keys to how good both the Mets and both the Yankees can be in 2015. And it is the presence of the Aces, the presence of the two best pitchers, pound for pound, throw for throw, pitch for pitch, stuff for stuff in New York right now. That would be, of course, Matt Harvey for the New York Mets and Masahiro Tanaka for the New York Yankees. And what is intriguing, what is fascinating about the two of them is there is no guarantee, as there isn't with any pitcher, but truly with these two, no guarantee these two guys can either of them make it through a full season. But to me, there is no way I can envision either of the Yankees or the Mets making a serious run at October baseball without their aces. Let's start with the Mets. Matt Harvey today, Friday. Matt Harvey throwing, you know, for the first time really off a mound against batters. Next week, we'll see him in a Grapefruit League game just about a week from today. It is hashtag Harvey Day, the way so many Mets fans were excited a couple years ago when Matt Harvey really took New York baseball and took the Major League Baseball by storm every fifth day when he took the mound. And if Harvey is back, if he is right, if he is the guy or close to what he was a couple years ago when he truly was one of the five or ten best pitchers on the planet, a, a threat to go out there and throw a no-hitter basically every time he towed the rubber. If he's that, if he could lead this Mets rotation, and even if they do, you know, are, even if they are judicious with his innings and give him a two- or three-week break in the middle of the season, maybe, you know, push him to a sixth day instead of every fifth day when you have an extra day off, if they manage him a little bit to try to get him over the hump, to try to get him to 200 innings before, you know, the end of October, to, through the postseason if the Mets do get there, and not use them all up before then, even if that has to be a caveat on Harvey's season, I think he can provide, if he's right and healthy, enough value for the Mets, give them enough quality innings, and dominate opposing batters enough to be a big asset to the Mets and to anchor that rotation. Harvey's personality, Harvey's ability on the mound will be the lifeblood, will be the heartbeat of the Mets moving forward here. They need him to be that guy. They need him to be a superstar for them. And if he's not, if he struggles coming back from this injury or there are growing pains or he's just not himself for the first few months, which is totally understandable. But if that is the case, the Mets will not reach the heights some think they can. Then across town with the New York Yankees, so much about Alex Rodriguez, so much about so many offensive players trying to bounce back from down years, CC Sabathia in the rotation trying to come back from injury, uh, Pineda trying to give a full season. There's a lot going on with the Yankees, and we're hearing very little about Masahiro Tanaka. And that's because until something bad happens, there's nothing really to say. But at this point, with a guy that has an elbow tear that is not just going to heal overnight, it is going to be managed, and the Yankees are going to hope that he can last here for the duration of his Yankee career without ever having to go under the knife for Tommy John. That was the recommendation last July when Tanaka went down. Don't get the Tommy John. Rehab this. Strengthen the area around that tear. And I think, speaking for the doctors, they thought that he can get through this. You know, a guy like Adam Wainwright for the St. Louis Cardinals has done this, has pitched through this, and been very successful. This has been done before, but there is a feeling around Tanaka that that elbow is a ticking time bomb. Now you look at the Yankees, and I think their pitching rotation behind Tanaka, even if you're assuming he's the guy that was right there behind Clayton Kershaw in my mind, and maybe Felix Hernandez for the best pitchers in all of baseball last year through the first three months. Even if he's going to be that guy, you don't know if he can last the full season. If he's not that guy, if he doesn't last the full season, the Yankees are in major trouble here. So you could talk all you want about David Wright's comeback, all you want about all the Mets pitching depth. On the other side, you talk about Alex Rodriguez and what he could do at age 40 and Sabathi and all the questions around the Yankees. But for the Mets and the Yankees, as we proceed through here through spring training and we watch the minutia of these day-to-day workouts and long toss sessions and we'll get into the Grapefruit League games next week, the two overarching names to watch in New York baseball right now for both the Mets and the Yankees are the aces because those two will set the tone. Those two will add legitimacy to any contender status that either the Mets or the Yankees have. If Matt Harvey is Matt Harvey for a full season, 
the Mets have a real chance at October baseball. And if Masahiro Tanaka is the Tanaka we saw for the first three months of last year, he's a threat to win the American League Cy Young, he's a threat to be an MVP candidate, and he's a threat to keep the Yankees afloat in a very good American League East. I'm Joe Giglio for NJ Sports. Now.